We rely on padlocks and multiple security applications in our lives. Some are very small indeed. Take a look at this little three pin 20 millimeter aluminum or aluminum to those in the US, Abus padlock, which weighs only 15 grams or around half an ounce. Of course, there are bigger padlocks and bigger padlocks and even bigger padlocks available, but how big can we go? In this video, I'm going to show you the biggest and most intimidating padlocks in my collection and a few from my friend Yukos for good measure to find out. Quick shout out to the lockpicking lawyer for his excellent video on his biggest and baddest padlocks, the clear inspiration for this video, and I strongly suggest you go check it out. Let's start this journey with the Ingersoll impregnable CS712, a closed shackle padlock which actually looks bigger than it really is. It's 0.75 kilograms or one pound 10.4 ounces. It's made by Ingersoll Security in the UK, which was established in 1940, and this padlock was made from around 1988 onwards. It has a lever sidebar system with 10 individual levers inside, and there is a slightly bigger version, the CS700, which has a fully enclosed shackle. Next, the Chubb Conquest at 1.12 kilograms or two pounds, 7.52 ounces. This conquest was made by Chubb in the UK, which was founded in 1818, and versions are made by Union as part of Asa Abloy. This one has a six pin core with three standard pins and three spool driver pins. And there's an even bigger closed shackle version available. I just unfortunately don't have it. This is the Abloy 260 weighing in at 1.17 kilograms or two pounds, 9.44 ounces. This of course is made by Abloy who were founded in Finland in 1907. I don't have the key for this one, but I believe that it has an Abloy Disc Lock Pro core with somewhere between five and 11 discs with a sidebar. The Abloy Disc Lock mechanism, if indeed that is what's inside this, started to be made around 1985 to the present day. Here we have one of the more unusual and rare locks in my collection, the Bylock Hidden Shackle Padlock, I don't know its real name. This comes in a smidge above the Abloy 260 at 1.18 kilograms or two pounds, 9.44 ounces. As you can see, the shackle is hidden and attaches to a staple on the underside and the outer part of the padlock spins to avoid twisting attacks. This contains a 12 pin first generation dual sidebar core, and it's made by the Australian lock company who were established in 1981. This handsome lock is a 70 millimeter brissant padlock. It weighs 1.28 kilograms or around two pounds, 13.12 ounces. Brissant Secure are based in the UK, but this branded padlock body is probably made by Federal and based on their Federal 740 design. Inside, it has a six pin Brissant BS core. These padlocks keep getting bigger, and this is one of my favorite padlock designs. This is a rotor lock. It weighs in at a modest 1.38 kilograms, or around three pounds, one ounce. And as far as I can tell, it's made by a company in the UK called Insight Security. There isn't very many other details about this. All that I do know is it can come in a number of different configurations with different cores on the inside. This one just happens to have a six pin federal core inside it, but it can come with all different types. Marching on, we have the extremely cool Bowley 543 padlock. This actually looks like it weighs more than it does. It comes in at 1.41 kilograms or three pounds and two ounces. This is made by the Bowley Lock Company based in Canada, founded in 2015. And this particular design has a clever combination of standard pin tumbler and warded lock mechanisms. It has nine pins, four on one side, five on the other side using a double-sided key corresponding with two separate posing pin stacks. Moving on to our first shutter lock, we have the ISEO IS809909 Boxer, a 90 millimeter shutter lock. It comes in at 1.43 kilograms or three pounds, 2.56 ounces. 
ISEO are an Italian company established in 1969 and this particular one has a six pin core with some standard pins and some spool driver pins as well. An absolutely lovely padlock in red and black, the Asa Ruko 45. The first padlock here to break one and a half kilograms at 1.54 kilograms or three pounds, 6.24 ounces. Ruko were established in 1930 in Denmark and inside of this one, there is an Asa twin core. It has six pins with counter milled chambers plus an extra set of serrated side pins which interact with a sidebar mechanism. Another really unusual lock here, the Federal XL Puck Lock, or at least that's what I call it. This weighs 1.55 kilograms or three pounds, 6.72 ounces. The makers of this lock, Federal Lock Co, are based in Taiwan, established around 1960. And Federal make a lot of locks and hardware for other established lock brands. Inside of this particular lock is a Federal six pin SKG two star core. It has two standard driver pins and four serrated pins. Next up is one of my favorite big padlocks. I just love the look of this one, the CASP 19070X closed shackle hardened steel padlock. It weighs 1.56 kilograms or three pounds, seven ounces. CASP security were established in 2006 by Carl Kameling International Limited, and they're based in Wales in the United Kingdom. Inside of this one is just a six pin cylinder with standard and spool driver pins. Nothing too special, but it is a looker. Probably the shiniest lock in this collection is this fabulous Abus Rock 83CS80 at 1.56 kilograms again, or three pounds, 7.04 ounces. This really is a thing to behold. Abus, of course, are based in Germany and established way back in 1924, almost 100 years ago now. This is a CEN6 rated padlock with a six pin Abus cylinder. Now onto one of the more famous big padlocks people know about, the Sergeant and Greenleaf 833 padlock at 1.65 kilograms or three pounds, 10.24 ounces. Sergeant and Greenleaf were established in 1857 in the US and they made the 833 model for the US government for high security applications. It's made with hardened steel and has ceramic inserts to give superior grinding tool protection and it's also designed to withstand liquid nitrogen attacks. Inside of this one is an Abloy Protec 1 11 disc disc detainer core. This is the only padlock on the list I do not know the manufacturer of. I'm calling it the Asa rotor lock. It weighs a whopping 1.91 kilograms or four pounds, 3.36 ounces. There is no branding on the padlock itself. I wish I did know the manufacturer. It's possible it's made by the same people who make the other rotor lock on this list. But inside it is an Asa twin combi six pin cylinder with counter milled chambers and it also has five serrated side pins which interact with a sidebar. This Chubb Hercules, this is the first padlock in my collection to break the two kilogram mark. This weighs 2.11 kilos or four pounds, 10.4 ounces. Just like the Bylock, it has a hidden shackle design and it's made by Chubb and then Union and contains a 10 slider high security Chubb AVA or ABA core based on the much simpler original Abloy have a design. And finally, we reach the end of our journey with the biggest padlock. It weighs in at an almost unbelievable 4.27 kilograms or nine pounds, 6.56 ounces. The mighty Squire SS100 CS close shackle padlock. This two keyway close shackle padlock is the only padlock to achieve the loss prevention board SR4 standard. It has a solid hardened steel lock body and a hardened boron steel shackle. It can withstand a tensile pull of over 24 tons, which is equivalent to two double decker London buses. Squire were established in Wolverhampton in the United Kingdom way back in 1780. Let's just compare the Squire SS100 CS 
to the little Abus we started this video with, and you can see just how much bigger it is. In fact, it weighs almost 285 times as much as the Abus. It's not scared though, as it does have a bigger brother to protect it.